Hi everyone, this is Brett from Link Digital, and today I'm going to install CCAN, um, except I'm going to be installing um, CCAN on um, my local Mac OS machine, and I'm going to use uh, Docker to um, add, add Docker containers to run CCAN, which um, will be different to slightly different to um, the Ubuntu um, Docker installation of CCAN that uh, video that I've done previously. So let's get started. Now I'm going to go to the um, documentation that I have um, on my other screen that you can't see, and I'm just going to the uh, maintaining um, and the installation um, section of it, and I'm going down to where it says uh, installing CCAN with Docker Compose down here, and um, I'm going to be uh, using the instructions off that. So let's get started. The first thing we do is, and this is what we do when we install um, CCAN via the source method as well, is um, we need to clone the CCAN master. And we, I, yeah, so I've set up, a, I have a directory which is all my GitHub repos, and I just pretty much put everything in there. So I'm going to be putting the CCAN master under here. So let's uh, get clone that. And that takes a little while, depending on what machine you're actually uh, using to run it. Now, um, I'll just give you a quick look at my uh, details of my Mac that I have. I'm running a, a fairly old-ish uh, Mac Mini, and um, I'm using um, a fairly recent version of the, of Mac OS. I'm uh, running Big Sur version 11.5.2, and it's just a 2018 Mac Mini. Um, nothing special, uh, and I had two screens running off it. Okay, so. Let's just wait for that repo to be uh, cloned onto um, onto my uh, local machine here. And that's done. Okay. Right. Now, so I will CD into the, the CCAN directory. I'll run my uh, VS Code IDE here, actually, so we can have a look, have a quick look at that. Now, this uh, VS Code um, IDE I have uh, here is, I have the, um, the Docker extension also, which I use a lot at, rather than command line. Command line's great as well, but it just seems a bit easier um, to, to, to use um, VS Code to, to do all my Docker type operations. Um, and I can see containers getting created. I can check out images and all the rest of it. So, right, so the first thing we do is that, oh, well, firstly, I'll just let you know that I actually have Docker Desktop installed on my Mac OS machine and I have already uh, Docker Compose installed. And you'd need to do that if you were running, um, doing something similar to what I'm about to show you. Uh, I use Docker Desktop. It's um, I've been using it for a while. It may not be the best anymore um, for containers, um, but it's what I have. So what we do next is that we need to cd into the contrib directory because this is where the docker stuff is and, and here we have um, kind of most of the docker configuration now we have a, um, a template file environment template file here called .env.template and I need to use that file to create a .env file, which Docker Compose uses um, for its uh, environment variables that are passed through 
to um, building the images um, and is also used for, um, for uh, containers as well from that. So um, the, I'm going back to the documentation uh, to build the images and also run the containers off the images. And I'll just bring the screen over here so you can have a quick look. I'm going to be building Docker images as it shows here. And which is, it shows you what I've already done. Okay, so I will run a Docker Compose command. And I'm going to build the images with a minus minus build option and I'm going to minus I uh, use detach mode minus D and I'm going to uh, run the containers uh, off the images that I actually build now this this does take a while a little while and um, I have also pre pre kind of made this docker uh, um, my my Mac OS machine, I've got rid of all of the Docker uh, images and the containers and the networks and the volumes off it previously before uh, starting this video. So it will be downloading, it won't be using anything in the cache, it will be downloading um, all the images from outside my machine. So um, there's a warning here. Um, this warning is okay. Generally, if there's any more than uh, this one particular warning, um, it means you haven't done something right, like this, the .env file doesn't exist or something like that. And then the um, first thing it does is it creates the network, which it, uh, Docker Compose actually creates um, all the network stuff for you. You don't have to worry about doing that. And um, and then it, take, it creates uh, five volumes, three CCAN volumes, uh, a database uh, volume, and a, a solar volume as well. And we can go back to the uh, VS Code. We can just see things get, whoops, see things start to be created. Maybe. Yeah, here we go. So actually we look at the networks. There's a network there. That's the network um, that we created here. It's a bridge network. And we say that some, see that some of the images are, are already there. Um, the data pusher image, um, the Postgres database image, the solar image, and the Redis image. So it, I would say that the next thing will be the CCAN image should appear at some point soon. And the CCAN generally takes a little while because it has to copy in uh, and run the um, the various uh, Python libraries um, and dependencies required to have CCAN running. So as you can see, there's no containers running at the moment. Um, all the images need to be downloaded first, and we're on the last image now. And we also see that there's some volumes have been created as well. So those have already, that were the first things that were done. Um, so rather than run all these, uh, all the uh, command line Docker commands, to see stuff, it's really easy to, to see what's going on with uh, with VS Code. Okay, so we see that the uh, CCAN image was um, exists now, and we also see that the um, the containers are all running. How about that? Um, so let's, uh, what we can do is we can look at the log files for the CCAN container. I uh, right clicked on that container there and we see the log files. 
and um, it's uh, it's looking good. The CCAN um, application is running. Um, um, the five uh, running on five thousand port five thousand, and um, it's running within the CCAN uh, container itself, which is on a different network. Um, yeah, it's on the Docker network, um, which is down here. So what we do now, we can actually do things like we can actually log into the CCAN container as well. And we can see processes running. Um, we've, uh, we've got two Python processes running uh, CCAN here. And two other processes running as well. We can also log into the um, other app um, running uh, containers. And this is the database one. I don't think PS is available on this. No, it's not. So we don't have um, the PS app, uh, command available, like, but we could we could easily install it uh, on this uh, on this container running here. Um, we can also inspect. Um, the can running containers as well and a lot of information about the configuration um, of the running container is available easily and the last thing i'll do is um, i will um, attach or open um, the, the container in a browser and if we look at the browser here, taking a little while. Actually, if we look at the log files for CCAN. We should, oh, that is taking a while. Yeah, okay. So maybe I didn't hit the, my, um, my keyboard properly. Um, so we can look at the, um, the, log, uh, the logs um, from the, C uh, the CCAN, the CCAN container logs, and we can see that um, that I accessed uh, the CKN application. So it all looks pretty good to me. So um, there you go. Um, thanks for watching. And um, I hope you found this uh, helpful in some way. Thanks. Bye.